Cool. All right. So welcome, guys. So tonight for our class, uh, since um, I started my first round of my pilot group, we did our orientation yesterday. So I thought what would be really nice to do is like back to basics in the sense that like doing our yoga class and imagining that we're doing the posture for the first time. So just being really, really aware of where we're placing our hands, our feet, what our mind is doing. So in a sense that we are taking a beginner's stance, but also a beginner often has a very, very kind of busy and agitated mind and just seeing if you can actually use that presence of becoming still and quiet um, within and really focusing and going deeper that way. So let's give it a go. Postures aren't going to be difficult or challenging today. We um, are just going to really work into them mindfully. So with that, I'm going to invite you to come and sit comfortably on your mat in whatever position you feel comfortable with. Oopsie daisy. And as you sit comfortably, you're going to allow your eyes to close, your spine to lengthen, and your shoulders to relax. Just imagining that you're taking the seat for the first time. Really allowing your body to settle into it comfortably. Observing, noticing the sensation of the buttocks against your support or against the ground. Noticing the freedom at the crown of your head. The space that you're creating through the length of your spine. Not to only draw your awareness to the breath following it as it flows in, following it as it slowly flows out. And allowing that feeling of expansion to fill you in each inhalation. And a softening, a releasing with each exhalation. Feeling the play between the two, the inhalation, the exhalation. From there, taking a moment to acknowledge three things that you are grateful for today. I'm sure, it's easy to find a whole load more than three. Just if that if they all appear or they all show up in your mind, let them come. Not a problem. And then when you're ready, you bring the palms of your hands together. Get your hands really nice and warm, rubbing, 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 feeling that energy, feeling that friction. And then cup your hands over your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in. And slowly out. And again, rubbing the palms of your hands together. And this time as you cup them over your eyes, look into the darkness, allow the warmth to penetrate your eyes, just being cheery, energizing them. Express any tension from the day so that you can release that through the eyes. And blinking your eyes a few times, releasing the hands, you can shake them out. From here, we'll take it into neck releases. So again, making sure you're sitting comfortably on an exhalation, draw the chin into the throat, tilting your head down. Notice how it feels through the sides of the neck. Inhale, draw your chin along your left collarbone to the left. Exhaling back to the center. 
Inhaling, draw your chin along the right collarbone to the right. Just lift your head a little to the side of your right shoulder if you want. Exhaling back to the center. Do that twice more to each side. And you might find that this evening that your neck is feeling really soft and loose and open and free. Or you may feel that it's actually just a little tight, like there's a little bit of resistance. Maybe there's a little bit of tension somewhere. And bring up this is a simple, easy practice you can do anytime. Kind of if you're driving from A to B and when you've arrived at your destination, you can always do a few neck rolls before you jump out the car to do what you need to do. After your three rounds, inhale and bring your head back up to the center. Take your shoulders right up to your ears. Tilt your head back. Just rock the head back and forth. You feel that you're able to massage the back of the neck, the top of the shoulder. It's usually quite delicious if you've been at a desk or a laptop all day. Bring the head back to the center, release the shoulders. And move straight into shoulder circles. So as you inhale, take the shoulders up, back, down, and around. Do that a couple of times, inhaling, working into the shoulders, exhaling, inhaling, up and back, exhaling, down and around. And then change directions, take the shoulders back and up, exhaling, forward and down. And do nice deep breaths. Slow movement, nice big circle. And then release. Take it into the wrist for a moment, rotating the wrist. And then circle in the other way. And release, stretching out the hands, the fingers. If you're on a hard block, you can stay on your hard block or you can come off it. You just want to shake the legs up for a moment and then bring them together into Baddha Konasana, your cobbler. You can hold on to your feet, your toes, your ankles, your shins, or just below your knees, and allow the knees to flap up and down. I feel that you're able to release into the inner thighs, opening up into the hips nicely. Such a lovely feeling, especially if we've been sitting a lot. Just to open up into those inner thighs to release tightness and stagnation from the hips. And then holding it for a moment. If you feel you need to continue to flap, go ahead. Again, you may hold on to your shins, feel that your chest is open, you can hold on to your shins. If your arms are long, if you've got monkey arms like me, it's easy to hold on to your toes. Close the eyes. Three slow, steady breaths in and out here. Breathing up to the full length of your spine. And exhale, relax into the hips and the inner thighs. Feel that you're drawing the energy up today as we begin. Creating a little bit of lightness. Feel that you are very spacey and airy, then feel it focus if you can draw the breath and the energy down to ground. Just to create a little bit of lightness. If there's been a lot of stagnation, breathe from the base up. And then when you're ready after those three or six long breaths, bring your legs together, give the knees a good hug, stretch the legs out, give them a shake, take them a little wider apart and rotate. The feet working into the ankles and toes. And then circle it the other way. And release. Cool. Right, so we're going to start off coming and lying on our backs. Again, if you want to have a soft pillow underneath your head, I'm just going to grab my soft pillow from underneath here because I quite like working with the soft pillow under my head. You can place one there. Okay, so just make sure that it's long so that you've got space for your arms to move behind you in a moment. All right, 
a couple of rounds of the Apanasana, always a great position to start off with when we are on our back. So as you exhale, the knees come towards you. As you inhale, you're sending the legs away. So make sure that this doesn't just become a mechanical movement. Really feel that the awareness of how you're cupping your knees with your hands. Are you able to relax into both shoulders, into both feet? There's no part of your body that's actually doing the work apart from the hand just guiding. So the hips are relaxed, the legs are relaxed. Notice how the lower back feels. And if you feel that you need to do the circling up and up, or that you want to circle on the sacrum instead of working back and forth, please adjust and adapt so that it feels right for how or what it is you're needing to do. Super. On your next exhalation, keep that right knee towards your chest and extend the left leg out. Lengthen through the left leg, flex the foot, extend through heel, soften into the arms as you gently draw the knee towards you. And notice the pressure of the abdomen against the right thigh. If there's any discomfort in your lower back, you're going to bend your left knee and place the sole of the foot onto the mat. If you feel that your lower back is all right, you can keep that left leg extended out. The arms are down by your side. We're working right leg and both arms. So as you inhale, you're going to extend the right leg up to the ceiling and you're going to take both your arms behind your head. And as you exhale, you're going to bring, bring, bend your right knee, bringing your knee towards your chest and the arms down alongside your body. And you do that twice more. Inhale as you extend into your right leg, arms go behind you. Exhaling knee to the chest, arms down. Inhaling leg up, arms back. Exhaling knee to the chest, arms. Once more, and this time we're going to hold the posture, staying here. If it's uncomfortable with the arms behind you, bring them alongside the body. You need to try and lengthen through that right leg, reaching into the heel, pushing into the ball of the right foot. Lengthen through the left leg as well. Keep breathing comfortably and easy. Make sure your back isn't arching to feel that you can release the back lower ribs down into the mat. And keeping the arms behind you very, very slowly. Begin to extend and lower your right leg down towards the mat. And once it reaches the mat, relax the body, relax the legs, the arms. Take a smooth breath in. And as you exhale, bring your left knee to your chest this time. Hug that knee towards you, lengthen and extend through your right leg, press into the heel. Draw that left knee towards you. Feel the pressure of the, ab the left side of the thigh against the left side of the abdomen, or the left thigh against the left side of the abdomen. Breathe into here, relax the shoulders, relax the foot. Right, right leg stays active, arms come alongside the body, three rounds dynamically. Inhale as you extend your left leg up to the ceiling as you take your arms behind you. And as you exhale, bring, bend your knee, bring your knee towards your arms down. If you need to bend your right knee to place that foot on the mat, if it's more comfortable for your back, to work in that manner, by all means, go ahead and do so. Inhale as you lengthen and exhale as you load. If there's no problem with your back this evening, then keep that right leg straight. Again, always adapting and adjusting so that it feels right. On the fourth round, we're going to stay there. We're going to hold. We're going to lengthen through the back of that left leg. We're going to press into the ball of the foot. We're going to lengthen through the right leg. We're going to reach the arms back and we're going to breathe these lower ribs down into the mat. So there's stability. We're able to feel grounded. We're not clenching in the jaw or the mouth or the neck. Soft, smooth breath. Take a nice, smooth, deep breath in here. 
And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, slowly lower that left leg down towards the mat. If you need to take an extra breath or two to get that leg down slowly, do so. Once it's all the way down, relax the arms and the legs. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, lower the arms down alongside the body. All right, from here, using the abdominal, slowly, slowly, you can slide the heels along your mat towards you, and then knees come towards the chest. So I can do it with me. Inhale as you extend the legs up towards the ceiling. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Exhale as you bend the knees to your chest. <laughs> that was so desperate. I wanted to come out for a while. Inhale as you extend the legs up to the ceiling. Exhaling as you bring the knees to your chest. Five more. Inhale as you lengthen and reach. Exhale as you bend. And last time, when those legs are up, you can stay there, hold it, breathe at center. Again, in the evenings, it's so lovely to work with opening up into the back of the leg, getting the legs higher than the heart, draining the blood, releasing the lymph and all the stagnation from the feet and the legs, and reversing the flow of energy. And then when you're ready, release, bend the knees to your chest. Give them a good, good squeeze. If you've got a pillow under your head, just slip it away for a moment. And just for a little while, inhale and lift up into a comfortable bridge. So again, you're just guiding the flow of energy, the blood, the lymph towards the heart. So it's not a hectic bridge. It's not a full bridge. It's just more of allowing the flow of energy and movement in the direction of the heart, the throat, to the head. Remembering that when you're in this posture, to keep your head in the center, so make sure you're not looking from side to side of the screen. As you exhale, you come down. Knees come to the chest. Oh, giving them a lovely, lovely squeeze. And then it's your choice. You can either roll into your right and come up slowly, or you can hold them to your leg and you can swing yourself all the way up. Super. From here, we're going to come onto all fours. Chakra Bakasana, the cat stretch. Our knees are comfortably underneath the hips, hands are underneath the shoulders. Feet is a nice and widely spread. And just watch the position of the hands. Are your middle fingers facing forward? Are you able to spread the fingers wide? And are you able to press down to the palms of your hands, down into the knuckles? So you're really grounding down to the shins and the knees and palms of the hands. It gives that beautiful stability. As you inhale, you're allowing yourself to open up. And as you exhale, you're grounding your spine, tucking under your chin, tucking under your feet. And now move to the rhythm of your breath. As you inhale, you're opening. As you exhale, you're rounding. Slow, steady, and comfortable. I think Carter loves it when, when I do yoga. Every morning he joins me. So when I do my meditation in the morning, he literally comes and sits in front of me. I think animals really do pick up on, on energy very, very easily. Sometimes he'll be lying on his mat like he's doing now, and when I'm sitting on my mat, and when I finish my yoga and work into my meditation, he literally moves from his mat and comes and sits right in front of me. It is hilarious. All right, so from here, we're going to take it into a cacabat. So on an inhalation, bring us up into a nice neutral position. The knees may want to, legs may want to come a little closer together. Inhale, as you extend your left leg back or your right leg, doesn't really matter, and then the opposite arm. So right arm and left, left leg if you want. Abdominals are nicely engaged, so watch if you're not collapsing down into the side. 
tracking everything. Stay with the press into the ball of that left foot so that you're really lengthening through. Reach into the fingertips. Watch that the wrist isn't kink or angle. Lengthening. Neck is nice and long. Energy is able to move freely. And your supporting elbow, make sure that it is turned in so that there's nice stability for that shoulder joint. And breathe. Watching what's happening with your hand, are you still able to ground firmly to that hand? And then slowly release the right hand, left foot. Take a moment to realign. And then same thing the other side. So your right leg goes back this time, press into the ball of the foot, your left arm can come up, engaging the abdominal so that you don't collapse in your lower back, reaching, breathing. Nice and slow, nice and steady. Nice. From here, moving into Nandugasana, if you're a frog. If that's not for you this evening, take it into Balasana. If that's not for you this evening, then you can sit in Vajrasana or Virasana if you carry on to the upright. If you're coming down, you may want to make fists with your hands so that you can rest the forehead on your hands. You may want them to be flat, or you may just want to really release down into the ground. See what feels right for you. And settle into a com few comfortable, easeful breaths here. Soft face, soft jaw. And we anchor back in the chin. Coming up slowly. If you need to lean back to join the sinuses, go ahead and do so. Great. From here, we're going to come all the way up standing. So, to do that, you may want to come up onto your knees, you may want to tuck under your toes, you may want to roll back on the feet. Draw the chin in, and when you're ready, on an inhalation, very, very slowly and curl, bringing the neck and head up last, and leaning back, drain the sinuses once more. From a comfortable standing position, we'll move into a few of our standing. So let's see how that works tonight. We're going to start off with Tadasana, the mountain pose. So with Tadasana, and you can actually start either at the front or the back of your mat. If you don't have a dog, you can start at the front of your mat. All right. You can have it in the traditional way where your feet are together. Otherwise, if you prefer to have your feet hip width apart so that it feels more stable, especially, oh, excuse me, I'm still here, but we've got a power outage. So we're going to work into Tadasana. You just need to listen to my voice and I'll come and grab um, <laughs> some light in a moment. So with Tadasana, remember that you are grounding down through the soles of your feet. You're going to soften the knees just a little and you're going to draw the thigh bones into your hips. You're going to feel that the legs are stable, toes are spread. Sacrum is comfortable. As you inhale, you're going to lengthen through the spine. Feel as if the crown of the head is wanting to grow up towards the sky. And as you exhale, you reach your fingers down in the direction of the mat. So you're standing tall, you're standing strong, feeling stable and serene at the same time. There we go, we got light again. Holding your tadasana, your mountain pose. <laughs> Staying there for two or three more breaths. Mm. 
Torchlight is going to be of some use. All right. And then from there, we are going to move into um, I can't think of the Sanskrit word now, my brain is gone. We're going to be taking a step forward. Um, your kind of your half, I can't even think of the English word now. Anyway, we're taking a step forward with the right leg. If you want your left foot to be at a slight angle, you can do that. If that doesn't feel comfortable for the sacrum and, and the hips, then keep the left foot facing forwards as well. That's what I need to do for my sacrum. And you're going to take your right foot out to the right if you're feeling a little unbalanced. We're going to start off with the first three rounds with the hands on the hips. So all that's happening is we're going to inhale, we're going to lengthen. And as we exhale, we're going to push through the back leg, we're going to bend the right knee and we're going to come halfway down so that our spine is parallel to the ground. We're going to push down through the feet, inhaling as we come all the way up. So nothing difficult, nothing challenging. As we exhale, push through the back leg, strong back leg, coming halfway down, push through both feet, coming back up again. Super. The last time, Coming all the way down and inhaling back up again. From there, you can step your right foot forwards or your left leg back and releasing. It's amazing how hot it gets here when the, when the electricity goes out and there's no fan. Um, taking a step forward with your left leg. All right. Inhaling, lengthening your spine. Exhaling as you bend your left knee this time, coming halfway down. Inhaling as you come all the way up. And exhaling halfway down again. Smooth, steady, comfortable movement, dynamic posture. Last time. Inhaling, coming back up, press down through the feet, pushing to that foot and step back. All right, let's take it a little bit further from here. Again, taking a nice step forward with your right foot. So we've got the right foot in the front. This time we need to be working with the arms. If you want to keep your right leg straight, you can do so. If you feel that you need to bend it again, go ahead. Your back foot can be at a slight angle or you can keep it straight. On the inhalation, you need to be reaching the arms forward and up. From here, as you exhale, you need to extend forwards and down. And this time, as you reach forward, you push through your back leg. You need to bring the hands all the way down alongside that right leg. Draw the chin in, feel the back of the neck lengthening. Press down into the soles of both feet. Feel the abdominals engaging. Extend the arms out alongside the ears and then press even further down into the feet to propel you up. And as you exhale, the arms come up to the sides and the tops. Twice more inhaling as you reach the arms forwards and up. We'll move dynamically with breath as you exhale, extending forwards and down. Inhaling as you reach Forwards and up, lengthening to come up. Exhaling, letting go. Last time, breathing in, drawing those arms up. Exhaling, extending forwards and down. Inhaling as you come all the way forwards and up. Exhale, release. One last round. This time when we're down, we're going to stay down. Breathing in as those arms raise up, exhaling forwards and down, and you can sit, holding it, breathing into the hands can be in line with your foot, and you can start to straighten into that front leg, that right leg, without forcing, without rounding your back. So you need to try and keep that back nice and long. You keep pressing into that back leg. 
to go in the chin into the throat, observing where you're feeling it, which muscles are working, which muscles are lengthening. Are you clenching the ground of your toes or, able, or are you able to reach and lengthen into the toes, lengthening through the feet? Be able to very gently engage the ab abdominals so that you're able to get a little bit more length through the spine. Where is the tightness? Where do you need to try and release into? Where do you need to try and exhale and let go a little bit further? And then when you're ready, press down firmly through the feet. Reach the arms forward. Get that long, long, long spine and then come all the way up. And as you exhale, release the arms and step your leg back. Standing in samasati for a moment. Soft knees, soft feet, relaxed spine. Observe the breath as it flows in and out. And ground down through the feet, strong active legs. And we do the same thing to the other side, taking a step forward with the left leg this time. Adjust the position so that it feels comfortable and right for you. Both hips are facing the short part of your mat. And then as you inhale, reaching the arms forwards and up. Exhale, extending forwards and down. If you need to bend your next knee, you can do so to bring the fingertips down into the mat. Pull the chin in, look through the legs, press down through the feet, strong legs, bring the arms alongside the ears. And then scoop yourself up with a nice straight back. Exhale, release the arms down by the side. And if you need to bend the knee so that you can come up with a straight back, please do so. Always keeping the integrity of the spine. Keeping the spine safe, keeping the spine in alignment. Feel that you can lead with your chest. The heart space is leading and opening. Inhaling, opening that chest. Exhale, lead with the chest. Allow the chest to come forwards and down. Drawing the chin in as you release the fingertips to the mat. Pressing down through the feet, scooping up the heart and lift easily, effortlessly, lightly. Last time, breathing in the arms, raise up. Full awareness as you bring yourself forwards and down for the last time. Staying here, holding, breathing into the posture. Notice if you're clenching a mat with your toes, or if you're able to lengthen through them. Are you able to draw the left hip back a little on the right hip forwards? You're able to engage the abdominal somewhat and lengthen a little bit more through the spine. What has happened with the breath? Is it smooth and easeful, effortless breathing? Where's the tightness? Where's the resistance? And can you take your awareness and your breath into those areas? Yes. And then when you're ready, inhaling, coming forwards and up again. And exhaling, releasing the arms up to the sides and down. Stepping that left leg back. And again, take a moment in samasati, closing the eyes, feeling that the breath is returning to its natural state. Notice how the body feels. So 
we're going to continue working a little bit more asymmetrically with the body, where one side of the body does one thing and the other side of the body does maybe something a little different. We're going to be moving into two more different postures here. So we're going to start with the fig tree. I hope you <laughs> this is enough light. I'm just trying to see what will be helpful. Probably not too far away. Okay, well, let's see if this that will work somewhat. Otherwise, you'll just have to try and follow my instructions, my voice prompts. So you're going to ground down through your right foot. You're going to slide your left leg back so that the left toes are just resting on the mat. From here, right leg on the ground, grounded. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the sky. And then from there, you're going to let your left toes lift off the mat if you've got your balance, and your left arm is going to come out to the side. So right leg grounded, right arm up, left leg back, left arm out to the side. Holy feet tree. Holding it here, breathing into it. And when you're ready, releasing the arms and the legs. And same thing, other side. We're going to ground down through the left leg. We're going to slide the right leg back. Left arm comes up alongside the ear, reach into the left fingertip. Lift the right toes off the mat as you take your right arm out to the side. Holding it here, breathing easy, effortlessly. And when you're ready, you can slowly release. Standing comfortably into into mastery again, so that everything can come back into alignment and balance. All right, so what? A little balance posture should already have given you an idea as to how balanced you're feeling this evening. If you're not feeling too balanced, you're feeling a little wobbly, not a problem. The next posture you're going to do, the um, warrior number three, you can do by holding onto a support or you can put your hands on the wall so we can see how, how it goes. If you found that your balance worked really, really well, then you can try and work into the full posture. We need to do a nice kind of simple version way of working into it. Similar to the fig trees. You're going to take that left leg back. You need to just let allow the toes to rest on the mat. You're going to inhale and you need to reach the arms forwards and up like we've been doing this evening. You can soften the right knee a little. And as you exhale, you're going to bring the arms halfway forwards like we did in that half a forward bend movement as you lift your back toes up. So that's a bit of, of, as a seesaw. And you can bend that right knee as much as you need to so that you can bring your leg and your arms as parallel to the ground as possible. If you lose your balance, come back out of it, work into it again. If you need to hold on to a wall or a support, you can do that. Again, smooth, easy, comfortable breaths. And then when you really inhale, back toes reach the mat, arms come up. Exhale, releasing the arms up to the side. All right, good job, guys. Same thing, other side. I know it's really hot, my dog, stepping that left leg forward. Your right toes can be on the mat. You need to ground through that foot. When you're ready, on an inhalation, reaching the arms forwards and up. As you exhale, a kind of a combination of the two previous postures we did. You need to take the weight into your front leg, back toes lift, reaching the arms forwards. Press into the ball of your right foot. Reach into the fingers, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Make it a nice, strong, active posture. Smooth, slow, steady breath. Noticing how 
strong this left leg and the glutes are noticing how they may be having to work and when you're really inhaling releasing the back leg to the mat arms come up exhale release the arms out to the sides and step the legs together again standing here comfortably for a moment smooth easy breath Noticing how the body feels. And then from here, we're going to come and lie on our backs. We're going to give the knees a little bit of a squeeze. We're going to take it into a twist and then we'll move into our relaxation. So coming down into your mat comfortably, easily. If you need to place a soft pillow underneath your head again, you can do so. And then start off again by hugging the knees to the chest, finding that alignment. So that both shoulders are able to release back and down, soft face and jaw. Body surrendering. A really nice practice after working into warrior number three is just to extend the legs up towards the ceiling a little. So you're still holding onto the back of your legs. Okay, there we go. And you kind of drawing the thighs towards the chest and you're extending the legs up to the ceiling. If you can take your legs kind of behind your head, <laughs> if you're a nice rubber band, you can do that. And then release. Now twist this evening. We're going to extend the left leg out into the mat. We're going to keep the right knee to the chest. We're going to bring the right, or not to the chest, the right leg to a 90 degree angle. And from here, you place your left hand just onto the outside of your right knee. And as you exhale, you're going to take that leg over and you need to reach into your right fingertips. So you not necessarily going to take the foot all the way down to the ground. You need to kind of keep it at that 90 degree angle so that you can keep your shoulder onto the mat. So you need to hold it there and you need to breathe. Smooth breaths there. And a very stable twist for this evening. You're going to really lengthen through that left leg as well and keep the right axis. Inhale, bring that leg back to the center. Exhale, hug your right knee to your chest. And release, extend that right leg up to the mat. Bring your left knee to your chest. Lengthen and extend through that right leg. Left leg comes to a 90 degree angle, left right hand onto the outside of your left leg. And you need to take that right, that left mm -hmm. leg across to the right side, reach into your left arm and ground down through that left shoulder. So that left knee isn't coming all the way down to the ground. You're literally keeping your left shoulder on the mat and you're breathing across the buttocks, through the glutes, and to that leg. Nice and stable, keep your right leg active as well for today. That's a few more breaths. You might notice how the body starts to ease and soften. Let it happen. And then inhale back to the center and exhale, squeeze that knee to your chest. Both legs come up and take it into the little dead bug. There you go. Wrapping the arms around the back of your thighs. Flex the feet, soles of the feet to the sky. And holding it there. Soft breath, soft shoulders. 
And your legs come together, knees come together. Rock a little from side to side. And let go. All right. So what we're going to be doing is we'll do a little bit of pranayama as we extend and we release ourselves into relaxation. I'm going to come up into a seated position and a little closer to the laptop so that you can hear me a bit better. But as you lie on your mat, if you need to get any of your goodies so that you can feel comfortable, please go ahead and, and do that now. So if you need your, your bolsters or your pillows, blankets or jerseys, anything like that, go and grab them. And then when you're ready, just allow your head to lull a little from side to side, releasing any tension from the back of the neck. Then bring your head back to the center, make tight fists of your hands, reach your hands down towards your feet. And as you exhale, relax and release. Flex your feet, tighten the thighs, tighten the buttocks, squeeze as much as you feel necessary. And as you exhale, relax and release. Inhale deeply, allow your belly to rise. And exhale, sigh the air out. And again, inhale deeply. And sigh the air out. Last time, breathing in deeply. And let your breath go. So for this evening, nothing complicated. We need to move straight into the Ojaya breath, working into full awareness. So taking the attention into the back of the throat. And listening to the soft rasping sound that you create in the back of the throat. So remember, it feels as if you're sighing the air out. And instead of sighing the air out through your mouth, you're sighing it out through your nose. The sound is not a nasal sound. So the sound is not coming from the nose. The sound is being formed in the back of the throat. So see if you can really keep your awareness in the back of the throat this evening as you work with your J breath. And remember that if you feel comfortable doing your J breath on the exhalation, you do it on the inhalation as well. Again, the sound is in the back of the throat and not the nose. Feel that you can try and spread your tongue in the mouth to try and keep the jaw relaxed. So it shouldn't be a stressful practice in the jaw, the mouth, and the head in any way. You're just gently, slowly guiding the air in and guiding the air out. We're going to do two more rounds. And then release the breath, release the awareness of that practice, just let it go. And allow yourself to sink into relaxation. So silently into yourself this evening, you're going to repeat the following. I relax my face and head my face and head are relaxed. I relax my throat and neck. My throat 
and ne are relaxed. I relax my shoulders and armpits. My shoulders and armpits are relaxed. I relax my arms, elbows, wrists, hands, and fingers. My arms, elbows, wrists, hands, and fingers are relaxed. I relax my spine and each of the vertebrae. My spine and vertebra are relaxed. I relax my chest and ribs. My chest and ribs are relaxed. I relax my abdomen and all my abdominal organs. My abdomen and abdominal organs are relaxed. I relax my pelvis and hips. My pelvis and hips are relaxed. I relax my legs and knees. My legs and knees are relaxed. I relax my ankles, feet and toes. My ankles, feet and toes are relaxed. I relax my whole body. My body is completely relaxed. And in the state of relaxation, you need to just observe the breath as it flows in and slowly out. Each breath as it travels in and each breath as it travels out. Slowly, effortlessly and with ease. Noticing the lightness and space you create within on the inhalation. Noticing the space you create on your exhalation. Inhaling, noticing the space of possibility. Exhaling, noticing and experiencing the emptiness, the ether element, the two polarities 
possibility and emptiness happening and the inhalation and the exhalation. with that stillness for a moment longer. And then from there, bring yourself out of relaxation. So breathing a little more deeply, noticing the rise and the fall of your chest. Allow the thumbs to move along your fingertips, waking up your hands, and with all your toes, waking up your feet. When you really stretch your arms out behind you, yawning if you want to, you can stretch diagonally through the body. Right arm and left leg, and left arm and right leg. Arms one way, legs the other, take a nice deep breath in. And then when you're ready, bring your knees to your chest, give them a good squeeze. If you need to rock a little from side to side, go ahead and do so. Eventually you just roll all the way onto your right side. Coming all the way up. So placing your left hand in front of your chest, pushing all the way up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. And from there, bringing the palms of your hands to your heart center. Again, take a moment to acknowledge three things that you're grateful for today. And then from there, keeping the gaze, dropping the head for a moment, acknowledging the amazing, awesome human being that you are. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and look again. Namaste, everyone, and have a lovely, lovely evening. Cool. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Apologies about our power outage here. Um, <laughs> at least we still have, have internet and, and all is good, so we're able to be here. And um, tomorrow I'm actually releasing uh, the podcast, uh, Nourish and Restore, with Nicole. And it's a breathing practice. So if you want another breathing practice, then just head on to, it'll either be, it'll be on the Nourish and Restore Facebook page, but it should also be on the um, Yoga Awakening Africa.